Raider. I'm here on my own. Freelance, huh? All right. Come on in, but no gunfire. Market's open. You can do as much trading as you like. It looks quite defensible. <clears throat> you there. We need to have a conversation. You've got my attention. I'm always looking for people who know how to handle themselves in dangerous situations. From what I hear, you may fit the bill. I live for danger. Where do I sign up? I like your enthusiasm. By the way, I'm Edward Deegan. You'll mostly be working for me, but you'll need to talk to my boss first. His name is Jack Cabot. He likes to personally interview everyone I hire. He's careful like that. Come down to Cabot House in Beacon Hill and ask to talk to Jack. I'll let him know you're coming. It is so... dull. Here to talk to Jack Cabot? Oh, it's you. Good. Come on in. Come on. Let's go meet the boss. Jack, the new gal is here. One moment, one moment. I just have to. He'll be right with us. <coughs> oh, damn. Clearly, I'll need to adjust the mixture. Hello, hello. Welcome to Cabot House. I'm Jack Cabot. Pleased to meet you, Jack. And I am very pleased to meet you. Edward finds it tiresome. But I always like to know personally everyone who works for me. Please, have a seat. How about a drink? Edward, the good bourbon, eh? Please, have a seat. Now, before we get down to business, I have a question I like to ask all my new employees. Is this really the time Don't for... interrupt, Edward. The question is this. Do you believe there is other intelligent life in the universe? The universe is a big place. Anything could be out there. Wonderful. Most people's minds are too narrow to admit the possibilities of an infinite universe. But I'm not talking about flying saucers and little green men. 
I'm talking about the hidden history of our planet. The very origins of human civilization. Ancient powers that modern science, even at its pinnacle, could barely begin to comprehend. That's really interesting. I put my trust in the scientific method, not the pseudo-spirituality. I'm glad to hear you say that. It's become my life's work. My approach is to combine a rigorous scientific method while keeping an absolutely open mind. So much has been closed off to us simply because people assumed they already knew the answers. My father excavated a city in the Rub al Khali in Arabia, which he dated to more than 4,000 years before the rise of any known human civilization. The structures and artifacts were strange, disturbing even, clearly not constructed for or by humans. I've spent my life trying to decipher what he uncovered. Jack, can I tell her what I need her to do? I'm sorry, Edward. I just get carried away sometimes. You're sending her to look for the missing shipment. Yeah. Well then, I'd better leave you to it. We'll talk more about this some other time, when things are less rushed. It isn't important now. Welcome to the family. I'm ready to get to work. Good. That's part of the job, by the way. It's best to keep an open mind. Jack may be eccentric, but he's definitely not crazy. The job I got for you is simple. Jack owns a facility north of the city. There's an important package that went missing between there and here. I need you to track it down and bring it back to me. Any questions? For starters, what's this package I'm looking for? It's a metal case holding vials of serum. You don't need to worry about what it is. Jack needs it for his research. That's all you need to know. You should start at Parsons State Insane Asylum. Don't let the name spook you. It's just a secure building that we're using. We think the courier got ambushed as he was leaving the place. The guards heard gunfire in the distance, but we don't know exactly what happened. Check in with Maria at Parsons. She's in charge of the security force there. She can point you in the right direction. You all set then? Yep. I'll see you soon with the package. Good luck. Don't get killed on your first job.
This place is off limits. You'd best move along. Edward Deegan sent me. I'm looking for a missing package. Oh, you're the new girl. So this package, pretty sure we know where it is. The guys that shot Ben are holed up in the Parsons Creamery, just north of here. Thanks for your help. Sure thing. Hey, be careful. It's weird that they're still hanging around so close. Normal raiders would have grabbed the loot and bugged out by now. It's like they're scouting the place or something. I'll be glad when you clear them out. Maria's in charge. Just don't bring any trouble down on us. Hey there. Talk to Maria if you need it.
That is not acceptable. Imogene is missing, and I want her found. She's not missing, Mother. Do you know where she is? No, but that doesn't Your mean... Your sister is missing, and I want her found. What else is Edward for if not to keep the family safe? I'd be happy to send someone to look for her, ma'am. It's not a... Mother, Edward has better things to do than sending someone out to find Imogene. <clears throat> Again. So did you find I out what happened to the courier? Someone to find Imogene. I'm not going to have... Some raiders set up camp near Parsons and ambushed him. I took care of them. Hmm. I don't like raiders operating so close to Parsons. I hope this isn't the start of something serious. What about the serum he was carrying? Did you get any of it back? There was only this one vial left. Oh, good. I was afraid we wouldn't get any of it back. Here's your pay for the job. I'm throwing in a little bonus for bringing back the serum. That was good work. Now, as far as what's next... Oh, hell. I guess it's time you met Wilhelmina. Jack's not gonna be happy about it. Come on. I don't think you're even listening to me, Jack. I'm not Imogene's babysitter. If she chooses to go off without telling anyone, that's her... Jack, I'll take care of it. Mrs. Cabot, don't worry. I'll send someone to find Imogene. Thank you, Edward. I can always count on you. Why can't you be as devoted as dear Edward? <sighs> you shouldn't indulge her, Edward. It just makes her more impossible to deal with next time. Just doing my job. Speaking of which, here's all we got back of the last delivery from Parsons. Raiders got the rest of it, I'm sorry to say. Ah, oh, good. Finally. This will help settle Mother down. Emma Jean is Jack's sister. You probably figured that out yourself. She's, uh, a little flighty. Impulsive. From time to time, she runs off. Usually with a new boyfriend. Then I send somebody to bring her home. No problem. I'll bring her back. The trouble usually isn't finding her. It's persuading her to come home. I don't know where she's gone, but I can give you a place to start. She's been spending a lot of time in Good Neighbor. At the jazz club there, the third rail. Somebody there must know something. She's not known for keeping her mouth shut. Got it. Off to Good Neighbor then.
Someone there? up there. First time in good neighbor? You can't go walking around without insurance. Insurance. <laughs> I'm listening. That's right. Insurance. Personal protection, like. You hand over everything you got in their pockets, or accidents start happening to you. Big, bloody accidents. Whoa, whoa, time out. Someone steps through the gate the first time? They're a guest. You lay off that extortion crap. What do you care? She ain't one of us. No love for your mayor, Finn. I said let her go. You soft, Hancock. You keep letting outsiders walk all over us. One day, there'll be a new man. Come on, man. This is me we're talking about. Let me tell you something. <coughs> Why'd you have to go and say that, huh? Breaking my heart over. All right, sister. I'm fine. Thanks for taking care of him. Good. Now don't let this incident taint your view of our little community. Good neighbors of the people, for the people. You feel me? Everyone's welcome. Good neighbor. That what you call this place? That's right. We cobbled this little neighborhood together out of the freaks and misfits that just wouldn't be accepted anywhere else. You'll see. You make enough friends here, you'll call this place home soon enough. So long as you remember who's in charge. says newcomers are welcome to the third rail. What, another one of you mercs looking for, McCready? He's in the back Boy, room. we got beer. If you ain't buying beer, you ain't buying. Do you know Emma Jean Cabot? Name rings a bell. Kind of balmy. Haven't seen her in a while, though. Try Magnolia. She likes to make friends with people. She might know more about this missing bird. Magnolia! This gal wants a word! Waste of time. Excuse me, miss. Hmm? Well, what's the matter, sweetheart? Don't tell me you didn't like the song. I love the song. It was perfect. Oh, well, thank you. A girl tries her best. <laughs> now, there's something special about you, isn't there? But don't tell me. Let me guess. Ah, of course. It's those powerful muscles of yours. My. I could get used to looking at those. So what brings a woman like you to my part of town? What do you think? We're all trying to forget something, are we? I think you and I are gonna get along. So it's my turn to answer questions, right? What can I do for you? Do you know Imogene Cabot? Imogene? Sure. I know her. I haven't seen her in a while, though. Were you a friend of hers? She's missing, and her family's worried about her. <laughs> well, I'm glad somebody's looking out for her. 
She seemed like a body that could use looking after. Do you know where she's gone? There was this preacher fellow who used to come in here all the time. One of the slick ones. Always going on about remaking your life and so on. Most of the customers wouldn't give him the time of day, but Emma Jane, she latched on to him for some reason. I don't suppose it hurt that he was easy on the eyes. Mmm, intense. Some women find that irresistible. Pam! Would you come over here a minute? Is there a problem, Miss Magnolia? No, this lady here was just looking for Emma Jane. Do you happen to know where that preacher fella came from? Hmm, Brother Thomas? Yes, that's right. The one Emma Jane was always hanging on. Had to throw him out. Wouldn't stop bothering customers with that salvation racket. Kept going on and on about joining him at the back bay. Then he'd shove those stupid flyers in your face. Here, I kept one of them, just in case he didn't pay his bar tab. Mm. Well, thanks, honey. You were a big help. Anything for you, miss. I hope Evan Jean's all right. I didn't much like the idea of her going off with that preacher fellow. You'll be coming for a right. Whoa! Now that is some armor! Check out Can't the say I'm surprised knowledge. to find you in a dump like this, Reedy. I was wondering how long it would take your bloodhounds to track me down, Winlock. It's been almost three months. Don't tell me you're getting rusty. Should we take this outside? It ain't like that. I'm just here to deliver a message. In case you forgot, I left the gunners for good. Yeah, I heard. But you're still taking jobs in the Commonwealth. That isn't going to work for us. I don't take orders from you. Not anymore. So why don't you take your girlfriend and walk out of here while you still can? What? Winlock, tell me we don't have to listen to this shit. Listen up, McCready. The only reason we haven't filled your body full of bullets is that we don't want a war with Good Neighbor. See, we respect other people's boundaries. We know how to play the game. It's something you never learned. Glad to have disappointed you. <laughs> you can play the tough guy all you want. But if we hear you're still operating inside gunner territory, all bets are off. You got that? You finished? Yeah. We're finished. Come on, Bards. Look, lady. If you're preaching about the Atom or looking for a friend, you've got the wrong guy. If you need a hired gun, then maybe we can talk. Are you trying to impress me? It's not going to work. You're joking, right? I've been doing this since I was a kid. I know my way around. I used to run with the gunners, for God's sake. If you're worried about Winlock and Barnes, don't be. They couldn't kill a squirrel with a rocket launcher. Now what about you? How do I know I won't end up with a bullet in my back? Bunch of caps, huh? Okay, hotshot. Price is 250 caps. Up front. There's no room for bargaining. Now you're speaking my language. All right, boss. You got yourself an extra gun. Lead on. Charlie serves the drinks. I deal with the drugs. Hey everyone, gather around. Let's
Get the breeze back. Shoot the, the fat. Now I know you all are doing your own thing, but I don't want anyone here to forget what matters. Hey, Daisy, glad you can make it. How's my favorite girl? Well, you're not going to need... That's fine. I didn't need my eyesight anyway. Welcome, neighbor. We're always glad to see a new face around here. Tell me something. You ever feel like this whole world is broken? Do you ever wonder why things can't be the way they were in the good old days? I'm looking for Emogene Cabot. Oh, I'm sorry, but Emogene is indisposed right now. She's not seeing visitors. Her family's worried about her. You can tell them that she's fine. Not that it's any of your business, but she and I are just having a little relationship trouble. You know how it is. <laughs> she's not seeing anybody until she cools off. You're not holding her prisoner, are you? No, she's not a prisoner. She's just locked in her room until she calms down. She was acting crazy, threatening to run off. No offense, uh, but you know how women can get sometimes. I'm a friend of the family. Maybe I can talk some sense into her. Blah, blah, blah. Why are you even talking to these morons? Look, the truth is, we had a little, uh, disagreement about her joining the movement. She got kind of violent, so I locked her in there until I could figure out what to do with her. If you're willing to take her off my hands, let me unlock the door for you, and then she's all yours. Uh, I've got to warn you, she's way stronger than she looks. It took all of us combined to even get her locked up in there. Hello, Nate. T-shirt stain before we leave, huh? She's all yours, neighbor. Don't tell me. Jack sent you. That's right. I'm here to rescue you. What makes you think I need to be rescued? These cultists seem to be holding you prisoner. Well, Thomas certainly thinks so. But really, I was just waiting to see if he would come to his senses. He seemed so interesting at first. But since we came here, he turned out to be just another brute. He actually thought it could force me to join his absurd cult. Need anything before we go? No. I didn't bring anything worth taking with me. Oh, I'm not going with you. You can tell Mother I'll be along home before too long. I just need a drink first.
bad feeling about this place. them out of the basement? I'm trying, Jack. I I've never seen raiders this For God's sake, Sammy, the doorway right there. Sorry. Things are a little busy around here right now. Listen, if they're inside the building, you have to go to the office and shut down the elevator. You can't risk them getting to Lorenzo. Got it. Office. Elevator. You better round up whoever you can and get them. Hello? Edward? Come in! Edward! Ah, there's no signal at all. I've lost him. What's happening, Jack? If these people are inside Parsons, if they free him... Don't worry, I'll handle it. I always knew it would end this way. I never should have allowed you to lock up Lorenzo in that place. That isn't helping, Mother. And as I recall, using the serum was your idea, not mine. So what are you going to do? I said I'll handle it. I'm thinking. I don't need anything right What's now. What's going on? That was Edward. He's at Parsons, the old asylum. They're under attack by raiders. It's strange. The guards have held off raiders before without any trouble. I don't know what's gone wrong this time. Let's go. Good. I'll explain on the way. Hold on. Weren't you off looking for Imogene? Did you find her? Yes. I found her. She's fine. Oh. Good. At least there's one small comfort on this terrible day. You'll be wanting to be paid, of course. Edward usually handles these things. Caps is what you use for currency, isn't that right? Here. I hope that's the right amount. Before we go, I need you to understand something. When we get to Parsons, you need to do exactly what I tell you. Nothing more, nothing less. Is that clear? Got it. Good. Make sure you have whatever you'll need for a serious battle. I'll wait for you outside. Jack, be careful. And try not to hurt him. I love Father at least as much as you do. But you know as well as I do that if he gets free, there will only be one option. Don't let it come to that, please. I'll do my best, Mother. And if Imogene finally comes home, for God's sake, don't let her leave again until I get back. Now I really do have to go. Deal with the devil. 